Are you tempted to take shortcuts to achieve your goal? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. The famous marshmallow experiment of Stanford University was replicated in many instances, including this video, to test the grit of children to withstand the lure of instant gratification and their resistance to temptation. These tests also correlate with their success later on as adults. There's a marshmallow. You can either wait, and I'll bring you back another one. So you can have two, or you can eat it now. You can eat it now, or you can wait, and I'll bring you back two. Okay? Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I have one marshmallow for each of you. And here's the deal. You can either eat it now, or you can wait till I get back, and you can have two. Okay? And I'll be back in a little bit. If we wait, we Yep, if you wait, you get two, or you can eat it now, whichever you want. Okay? I'll make another one. In today's Gospel reading, Jesus is tempted to take shortcuts by the devil. Just after he was baptized by John in the River Jordan, he was led by the Holy Spirit into the desert to pray and fast for 40 days as he was about to start his public ministry. During these moments of supposed physical and mental weakness, the devil pounced on him. Hunger being a most basic human need, the devil first tried to tempt him to turn stone into bread indicative of man's lust for the flesh and the worldly life. Next, the devil showed Jesus a vision of the kingdoms of the world that he could get if he starts worshiping the devil. He was trying to shortcut the process of Jesus' kingship of both heaven and earth by not going through his suffering on the cross. In the third test, the devil tried to coerce Jesus to jump from the pinnacle of the temple in Jerusalem and force the hand of God, his Father, to save him. Jesus' mental and spiritual fortitude allowed him to resist these temptations because he knew that God did not want him to take shortcuts. He had to go through suffering, rejection, humiliation, and death for his goal to have meaning and be attained. Like Jesus, we have been baptized and called for a mission. We have been called to bring Jesus to others 
by serving others, putting their well-being first over us, going the extra mile to accompany people in need. This means to love without expecting anything in return. Jesus is telling us today not to measure ourselves against the worldly standards of success because doing so will lead us to do shortcuts, circumvent rules, cut corners, bribe and corrupt others, lie and destroy other people's reputations in envy, hatred, or just to be ahead of the pack. When we enter the wilderness of our lives, let us remember that we have been filled by the Holy Spirit since the day we were baptized to surmount, conquer, and be victorious. We call upon the Holy Spirit today to accompany us these next six weeks so that we can truly understand and appreciate our baptismal call and live this out beyond Easter. We call upon the Holy Spirit for a mushrooming of grace in us to ward off the devil and the shortcuts he entices us with to deceive us in entering into his steamy, stuffy, and scorching stadium of sin, which is hell. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, I am weak and prone to the wiles and caprices of the devil, who deceives me with the bright lights of worldly success. Keep me steadfast and unwavering in my baptismal mission, and to call upon the Holy Spirit in my moments of weakness. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.